What is going on guys, Shane here, back again with another YouTube video, Clash Royale. So, gonna open our free chest, see what we get here. Oh, we're really close to upgrading our arrows. I could use a fireball upgrade too. Yeah, oh, we upgraded our arrows. And we got one of the four musketeer shots, or musketeer upgrades, or cards. 213 gold right now, that's not that bad. We got another arrow. Three more archers, five more goblins, a second Valkyrie card, gives us another upgrade. Oh, yeah. By the way, guys, if you could look at our gems, I don't have much left. I spent it on um, 2,000 gold because I got the gems for joining an alliance. Pretty nice alliance here, Externus. We're active. Sup. Sup, people. As you can see, my second account's right here, requesting... I'm 164 wins, 58 three crown wins, level 6 barbs, yeah, so I'm pretty high up there. So I'm just going to donate to myself. I'm going to request something and donate to myself too, I'll just request that. So, and as you can see, there's three people on right now. Who's on? People. Yep. So I'm gonna upgrade the stuff that needs to be upgraded, and like I was saying before, as you could see, my goal or my um, gems are down to one. I don't know if that was a mistake or not because uh, I spent the gems you get from an alliance and the extra 40 we had. Yeah, spent that on pouches of gold, got two of those, and then you know what I did? Got us a skeleton army. It was an option in the store yesterday, I think it was. But yeah, we can't really do our crown chest yet, so I'll have to upload another video later. But this one's just going to be another random video. We're going to do something. So let's just battle a couple times, just for fun. Um, We're going to put down our giant, and oh, I hate when people use this. It gets really annoying. But I guess that's good for them, because if it annoys me, it must mean it's something good. A good strategy or whatever. He's not really sending much to defend the giant, so it's going to get a couple hits off. Honestly, that was his mistake, because his tower is going to be really low after this. Smart move, getting rid of my skeleton army, because that could have possibly taken out his other tower too. I know I'm late to the stopping um, the goblins. That doesn't really matter to me. I gonna, I'm gonna get a full shot from the bomber, taking off about a hundred health. Yeah. So now I'm gonna see like if he stops this. Mo no, he's gonna attack. Let me try to arrow her scout. No, that was pointless. But um, I was gonna try to see if the musketeer. All right. Um. Fireball that, so I could get rid of all the goblins too. <clears throat> So he got me beat on that. Like, GG, well played. Hmm. Just gonna use my normal counter skeleton army. He's gonna arrow them, but that doesn't really matter. His giant's only gonna be able to get off no hits or one, which I assumed he was gonna be able to get off. But he got off none. I'm going to throw this down and then throw a bomber behind it to get rid of the skeletons that the witch spawns. And I'm going to send in two archers also because it's focused on the giant and the archers won't take much damage. So he sent out a bomber. Not very smart in my opinion. But as you can see, the bomber is doing jobs helping the giant to not be attacked. Maybe we should continue on this push train. Doesn't really have much to counter my push either, so... I'm going to send in another giant. Oh, no. Okay, well. I'm going to take out his bomber and... Oh, that was a pretty good fireball right there, in my opinion. So I'm going to use the skeleton. And I'm going to use a witch. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to use the skeleton. Oh, my God. Why? With the retargeting. It just caused my witch's life. Okay, 
Well, he's gonna... Yeah, that's not really gonna do anything for him. Giant's gonna get off no hits on my tower. I'm gonna send out my bomber. He's gonna send out his, but my bomber's gonna do more work for my team. Okay, so I'm gonna win, but not with the three-star. That was my bad, guys. We're not really going for crowns, but we will in about an hour. Well played. GG. Yeah, we got another... Just silver chest. So, nobody's really gonna talk right now. I guess they're busy, but... We're getting more and more members. And if you guys join this alliance, you get free elder. And this game's global, so everybody can play it now. If you didn't know that by now, you could just get on and play. So, I'm gonna try... Hmm... I'm going to make another deck, and yeah, that could be my video topic, just what three decks I should make. Instead of the witch, because that's a pretty high-costing card, I could just do something like that, and that, and yeah. And my main attack force could be the hut, the giant, and the musketeer. Yeah, that could be my first one, and no, I don't know. I'm going to get rid of the hut for this, because it doesn't really make sense to go with that. And then this one will focus around the hut. Then I'll add a Valkyrie, because Valkyries are really strong. I've realized how much they affect my gameplay. We're going to include the Witch in this one. Sorry, Musketeer, but you won't be participating. We'll include that. Oh... Uh, not really much else I want to look at. I don't really need... Yeah, I guess I'll just include the knight. I don't really use him, but time for change. So this is my medium costing deck. My strongest, I, I think, I'm assuming. We'll attack once with each deck. Oh. Hi. Crypto. I want to see if he replies. But, yeah, people in this alliance, they, they do typically reply. Like, we have a few co-leaders in here, which are ranked members. Like, people who've been able to two-star us. If you could two-star us, you get co-leader. Fade to Black is really good. He's one of my favorite members. He's from Quebec. He's just an interesting guy. But, yeah. I have family in this alliance too, Kazakh Externus. I have three accounts, one no YouTube, one YouTube, and the other no YouTube also. But here's my second account, let me see if I could find it. All my accounts are pretty high up there in trophies, it's called, oh no, I didn't add it to this alliance yet, but... Yeah, we're going to do one raid with each of these. And we're just going to see which one's the strongest and which one gets us the most wins. Which one feels right? Okay, so here goes our first one. And let me go know which other games you think I should play. I don't know what he said. Maybe he said good luck, but I wasn't really paying attention. So, sorry about that. But... I'm going to go ahead and try to take out his witch and his giant so he doesn't really get much hits on our tower. He's going to try to go with the the little the little knight sneak tactic, but I do that sometimes when I have the mini Pekka. He's going to fireball. That was pointless. You know, guys, don't ever do that. I know I've told you this before, but it's really not not something you want to do. It's just a waste of the four elixir. But if you're hitting a troop at the same time, it makes sense. So that'd be fine, in my opinion. I'm gonna go ahead and send out this witch, and then a giant, no, catch the giant first, catch the giant, no. That was a fail on my part, guys. And then my giant's just gonna push the witch closer. Well, he's gonna send out his Valkyrie. So I'm gonna go ahead and fireball, and I, I don't know, try to get some damage on that Valkyrie. I'm going to go with the little tactic of splash damage, trying to get them both low. 
So neither of them would damage the tower very much. And then my archers should finish off both of them. So yeah. Um, now I'm going to go with another push. I'm going to try to finish him off. It shouldn't be much of a challenge. I'm going to go ahead and put my musketeer up there. See what he does. And based on how he reacts is what my next move will be. So he basically just sent out a giant. So leaving my musketeer to do work and my skeleton army to do work on his um his giant i'm gonna have enough time to go for another push fireball his witch and also his valk on accident and while his witch is focused on my giant i have all the time in the world to just take it out so that was a pretty good crossover right there um he goes ahead and places another giant so I'm going to go with this. I know his Valkyrie has splash damage or whatever, but it doesn't really matter in my opinion. I still have a lot of other troops defending. Oh, that fireball would have been perfect. Um, I'm going to go ahead and finish this. Um, Please get to the tower within 15 seconds. If you don't, I'm going to cry. Go ahead and finish this tower off. It's, it's GG, friend. GG, no. Okay, guys. We're not going to get the threes crown, but you know what? This guy lost, and it was fair game. So, GG. Well played. Alright, we're going to do one more attack with each of our other decks and see how that works for us. How's it going? I know I spell YouTube wrong, but, um, yeah. I don't know, I'm bored. I like talking. But we're going to go ahead and try our second deck. I can't wait to try the Valkyrie deck because, I don't know, about to BTC. And then I'm going to put parentheses because I'm making this up. About to clash. I hope that goes around and becomes a new thing, about to clash. But, um, yeah. I'm going with my second deck, and we'll see how this deck does. I didn't really pay attention to what it is or what it focuses on. I forgot, but um, I'm going ahead. Put the Musketeer right there. And he's just, that's not a good strategy. Wow, you don't ever want to do that. That's not a good strategy with the, um, the barrel. Because that gives my tower enough time to take it out. Which really doesn't work. If you would have placed it on my actual tower, it would have done way more damage. Probably could have taken out a good three, four hundred of my tower's health. I'm going to go ahead and arrow these archers. They do a pretty good amount of damage on their own. I'm going to try to show you how much damage they do. If he doesn't stop it, they'll finish off the tower. Yeah. <clears throat> so I'm going to go ahead and... Okay, that worked out. So I'm going to go ahead and send my giant out there to try to take some damage from the the musketeer. Then my troops that I sent before are going to take the musketeer out. I'm going to add a musketeer and make a huge push. So he's going to send in his goblins again pointlessly. He could have just attacked my tower and possibly took it out. I was the one elixir. Wow. Good luck. He's not a very good player, as you could tell. So I hope you guys are learning from my channel and what I do. How good the strategies I do are. See, that was pointless, too. You shouldn't have arrowed. That was a fail. Okay, so I just three-starred this guy. Okay, the strategy is not that bad. Good game. And if my Valkyrie strategy looks er, works out, I'm going to probably use that one. Because I really like the Valkyrie. I don't know, it's just dependable, medium health, and the splash damage, and it's just pretty strong. I always get annoyed when people use it against me, so. I know we're going against level 2, but that doesn't really matter. What is he going to do? Yeah, people typically go for the side that the hut's at. I know sometimes that I do it too, but it's just weird, like, everybody does it, it's like a universal thing. 
I'm going to use my knight and go ahead and try to take him out. Then I'm going to go for a small push on the right-hand side. And my goblins are just going to help. Without being uh, attacked, they're just going to build up and help me take out some of their tower. While he's focused on that side, I'm going to get enough elixir and I'm going to go for a huge witch combo push with the giant. And try to take out his left tower. So right now my Valkyrie's head. Yeah, my Valkyrie's going to be able to take out at least one of those archers. That was good strategy on his part. He lured. Which wasn't half bad in my opinion. So while he's focused now, I'm going to go ahead and use my witch and giant. I'm going to save enough elixir to build back up. I'm going to go ahead and pre-arrow. Assuming that he's going to place an arrow costing troop and... Er, a low elixir costing troop because he placed his giant but he didn't actually so that was kind of a waste but oh well I'm gonna save up elixir to go down my or place down my hut on his side and normally on the um, last couple seconds of the match the last minute using hut strategies that's when it starts to work really well and it gets too overpowered so these troops run about the same speed, which works out for me. I'm going to take them all out, except for one on accident. With that one little fireball right there. That was a good move in my part. And I'm going to try to go for a giant and witch on the right hand or left hand side. With a couple archers in the back. I'm going to go ahead and try to get this other hut ready. While he uses his fireball on my archer. And takes them out. So I'm going to have two sets of goblins coming in, which is pretty good. They're possibly going to take out, or they're going to slowly wear down the tower until they get really low. The fireball didn't really hit. Okay, so his troops luckily dodged all my things. So right now I'm just going to go ahead and go for another push. Down at this level, there's really going to be no losers for me. Rarely ever will there be. Maybe not three stars the whole time, but like this one, probably not going to be a three star. But you know what? We tried, and this is a fail. I like the strategy. I don't really use the Valkyrie as much as I thought I would have. Hmm. What other type of videos do you think are supposed on this channel? I don't know. I'm going to upload this video, and... In about 40 minutes, my next video will go up. See you guys later, and thank you for watching.